Okay, now I'm also recording. Uh, so, if I try doing uh, parallel lines, as uh, it's actually like offset from AutoCAD, I can choose click element. Uh, okay, now it works a bit hard. Uh, I will choose this element, this polyline, or uh, you choose it. Uh, it works a bit hard, I don't know why, something with the connection maybe. So if you select that rectangle and you enter the 5 centimeters the distance, 0 0.05, can you do this? Uh, with this function, parallel lines, uh, select okay now it seems it works no it uh, I have a slow feedback for what uh, I'm doing that's why I'm asking you to uh, now uh, I just want to click on the first rectangle the one up uh, the upper rectangle click on the edge of it Okay, uh, no, 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 the parallel line function I used uh, this one, and I think now it works. Uh, okay, now it works. I had the internet got slow for a second. And if I enter the distance, okay, and then which side? Uh, I'll click inside the rectangle and how many one copy. It will do it fully. If I try the same function on a rectangle created with uh, without polyline, it will. I have to do all the steps for each of uh, each of its edges. So I will have to do it four times in order to obtain the same uh, result. However, it won't get the same result because it won't uh, bind the perpendicular lines. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, here it's easier than trim because for trim you'll have to choose uh, the cutting edges. Here is uh, a simpler function. It's called uh, uh, wait, so, uh, I think it's this one auto delete segment and I will just click the segment I don't need. So if uh, you try to uh, click on the lines you don't need. A normal click. Just left click on the lines you don't need and they remove the lines between intersection it's so a sort of trim however you don't have to indicate the trimming lines any line is a trimming line you just click on the extra lines what i also wanted to show you is the fact that even though you've created the the rectangle from uh, lines you can convert it to a polyline very easily with uh, the change functions, we can uh, select here combine lines, combine lines to make polyline. Click first polygon system uh, segment. I'll click any segment of this rectangular, and then I get two red segments. Actually, he is interesting where to start its path because he can have a more complex path than this rectangle. So it doesn't matter which path I choose it will get the same result, a polyline. So now if I'm doing parallel lines again, it will do the same as above. So it was something like uh, of uh, choosing the right options. However, it was a good opportunity for me to show you the other options. Also, we have uh, other similar to AutoCAD we have them all in this change area. For instance, we can do a fillet on this edge. Maybe we want to round it a bit. It will say first element, then the second element. 
and it can create this intersection with a circle. I can enter precisely its radius or by mouse I can do it and it can do this or we can chamfer a segment it is important to read what uh, the program asks in order to understand what we are doing uh, and also there is the reverse if we have a polyline and want it in a separate lines uh, we can do it and the, com the uh, function is called split polylines into discrete lines and we only need one click on the polyline we want to open. If I click here, now I have four lines. So it's uh, really easy. Also, if we want, for instance, to change colors, we can use this uh, modify format properties and maybe I want the handles uh, to be red. And here I can change any properties, the thickness, the line type, the color, the layer, and I'll say red. And if I want to do a multiple selection, either I hold uh, the control key or I hit once the right uh, button of the mouse, I do this right click. I'm able to make a multiple selection. So I'm doing now a selection. I'll come here and do another selection. And here as well. Also, if I want to exclude objects from my selection, for instance, this add notation, I wanted to keep it black. I'll just click it again and it will unselect. When I finish selecting elements, I'll just right click them and uh, they are already done. So I could have changed anything from stand thickness, uh, line type, all from this uh, pencil uh, button. And uh, there are many others, uh, other function for 2D. We'll uh, explore some with, I have some new exercises, uh, but basically any function in all plan has the first half with create functions and the second with uh, changing and editing specific for the those above. So if I choose text module, I'll have uh, functions for text and edit function for text. So all are specific to modules. And however, we also on right click, we will have specific options. Those from change, most of them, we can find them according to the object type. So I'm here on a line, I'll have different options regarding 2D. If I'm 2D drawing, if I right click a dimension line, I have other options specific for dimension line. So normally we will use shortcuts and we won't need to browse through this big menu with and look for a function because we'll have them usually on right click for editing and it will uh, be easy. Uh, other questions? Okay, so we'll uh, switch to my computer and then uh, uh, and we'll start some uh, 3D exercises.